folks. Welcome back to PlayStation Underground. You got Kristen, Sid, and Mike from Capcom here. We are playing Resident Evil 2 on a PS4 Pro, and we are so excited. I am beyond excited all weekend. I have been waiting for this. I've been thinking about it. Resident oh. Evil 2, one of my favorites on PS1. So uh, thanks, Mike um, and Blake, driving right now. Thanks for coming by and showing it off. Yeah, nice. Thanks for hosting us, guys. Super happy to have uh, We're showing a little bit of Claire gameplay today. Sherry Birkin on screen right now. I was going to say, we saw a little bit of this at TGS, but we're going to be seeing a little bit more of an expanded look at this entire play level. Definitely. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. We're in the underground parking garage now. Uh, going to have a fun little cutscene for you guys to help set up what we're going to be seeing today. Uh, the graphics already are just <laughs> blowing me away. I, I played Resident Evil 2 when I was younger, but I was way too scared to finish it. <laughs> so I'm excited now that I'm a grown person who can handle horror. Fun uh, fact for me, Resident Evil 2, a seminal game on the original PlayStation. Uh, it's the only game, it's the only anything that got me to play hooky or attempt to play <laughs> hooky so I could go pick it up on launch day. Amazing. And leave school. Uh, stay in school, kids. <laughs> Don't be, don't be me. Definitely not. This was my first uh, Resident Evil game for myself, mm -hmm. uh, RE2 as well, so it does have like a special place in my heart. Seeing these characters built out the way they are now is it's something else. So. And this is a full remake. This isn't just a remaster yeah. treatment, a fresh coat of paint. This is uh, this is from the ground up using the uh, Resident Evil 7 engine. That's right. right. We've done a lot of we've done a lot of the you know, HD re remasters and things like that, but this is a as you can see, uh, full from the ground up making the same engine as RE7, the RE engine, um, but we've had some time, some games have developed on it, so you're seeing basically the best of the best of what we've got. looks gorgeous. Absolutely. Claire looks so good. Okay. Then. Can't wait to see one of those uh, liquors. We have all the, the cast of characters. That's right. <laughs> the ghoulish. Uh, Everybody you remembers back, whether right. you want them or not. <laughs> I was going to say, I think I'm ready to wait a little bit before we see our first one. This is all about. Child endangerment. So, Stars. just to remind us, who who is this that we're seeing? So, this is the Raccoon City Police Chief Brian Irons. Uh, a ah. little bit of a story exposition without spoiling too much. Uh, basically, he's looking for Sherry Birkin for for some reason. Um, this is Claire, obviously trying to take care of Sherry, but uh, it looks like she's in a little bit of trouble at the moment. So, what's your name? What's your fucking name? She's not gonna take that. Claire. These people should all be working together to survive yeah. this terrible, <laughs> uh, horrific scenario. We all, we all would hope we would be that way yeah. during the zombie apocalypse. You better be during outbreaks. I have a feeling he's not taking you to your mom. Boo. <laughs> 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 Don't tell me how to do my job. Stop. This guy Bring seems a little uh, unqualified for his yeah. walking position, right? Yeah, yeah I'd say so. She'll probably need that later. I'll get you, you fucker! Ooh, attention. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good example of a lot of the things that we've done to the game. It's like this scene back in the day in the original is very short. It's mm. just, you know, a bunch of very low poly characters meeting, saying two <laughs> words, and then poof, they're gone. Yeah. And You're really so able to expand on the narrative. The okay. the advanced graphics really he let the story first. open up a lot more. Yeah, they have a lot of fun with the cutscenes. People have been coming. steeping in this in our Osaka office, waiting to... This is like a lot of people's dream game to make, so they're like, I know exactly what I want to do. <laughs> the full scene. vision is yeah. realized finally. Yeah, that's terrific. So Sherry's been taken. We are now looking to basically find that key card. Uh, we're going to try to head to Brian Iron's office. From. Now I saw a reference to sub weapons. So is that in you know is it is it similar to what we saw in the Resident Evil One remake? So it's going to be s more similar to what you've seen in RE Seven. Okay. If you hit the, uh, you can check the like quick selects on D-pad. There's the inventory selection that's mostly like RE Seven, but you will find. Um, like the original game, upgrades, you'll get you know, gun stocks mm -hmm. and additional awesome. like, slides and things like that to add oh, accessories man. to your weapons. That was like one of the first games that I ever played where you could get like the triple burst upgrade for mm -hmm. the pistol with Leon and all of that great stuff. I love that stuff. Got it. So that's the elevator eventually <laughs> we need to get up. Interesting. There's going to be a zombie around here, I can tell already. But also naturally like Resident Evil, you, <laughs> you don't have the keys, you don't have the stuff, you've got to go find that stuff, solve look, puzzles. Look. Get a plunge into the darkness. I'm already so nervous. I know. I'm super <laughs> nervous right now. Because I'm sure it's not... The setups probably aren't exactly the same as they were in the original. Right. Just so that people aren't just like, oh, I know it's going to be around this corner. It's it's a whole new game. Yeah, we want everybody to... Especially if you've played it before, like you're going to feel super nostalgic, but the puzzles aren't going to be exactly the same because it's no fun if you're just... You've played it a million times already oh. and you just blast right through uh. it. So. so there is a... That might be a familiar face. Oh, God. Thank God she has a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> this is so atmospheric. I love it. I know. 
I'm like holding my breath a little. Oh no. Oh, so you gross. might remember these guys. Uh, obviously, with the, the power of the RE engine looking a lot nastier. Yeah. Oh, they gosh. still move really gross. And as you can see, this isn't a this isn't a bug or anything here. They're actually completely blind. Yeah. So you can see him kind of like snooting around. He can hear. He can oh, feel. Oh, there's the one on the roof. No. Oh, that's creepy. That's what scared me so much in the first one when it was on the roof and just looking down at you. Yep. No Got thanks. that big tongue like drooling on you. No oh. thanks. <laughs> that's actually that's a cool detail. That's new from the uh, the last game. Mm hmm That they can't uh, they can't see like that. Yeah, in the Ho original PlayStation one, they if you if you encountered them, that was it. Like there's yeah, no man. getting around it. <laughs> well, hopefully they can't <laughs> use doors. Yeah. You can only hope. Wandering. Ooh. Got a couple dead friends. I wouldn't be turning my back on that, that <laughs> body right there. What makes you say that? A lot of the time, especially like I mean, in most games you'd put a round off on him just to make sure he's he's he's, he's down, but uh Resident Evil you don't get too much ammo, so yeah. you gotta be careful with how many times you do that. <gasps> Man Giant roaches. Yeah, those are some pretty big roaches. Gotta Even love just hanging around them more. They're just water bugs. It's it's, it's not roaches. It's what happens bugs. when the T virus gets into the all the systems, <laughs> the zombie roaches. Lovely. Yeah, I was gonna say put them put the gun up quick. I'm also a little curious why there's a morgue next to a parking garage, but you know, that's just me. Yeah, you know. Raccoon also, City. <laughs> All bets who, are off. Who put a flash grenade in the morgue? Yeah. <laughs> if we're gonna go down that path, yeah. like, we're gonna have a very different recording here. <laughs> At the end of the day, we're treating this as a new game, and we know a lot of fans like that over-the-shoulder oh, no. yeah. perspective. So. This brings it in line with uh, RE4. Yes. Oh, man. All of our creepy crawlies. Oh, boy. He's like, wait, oh. I just want to talk. This Gore-Tech is nuts. Oh, Look my at gosh. This. Yeah. You can even see, like, if you hit him in the knee, like, they'll start shambling in different ways oh, based on wow. where you shot them. I want to like, meet the uh, the individual responsible for these zombie yeah. shamble animations. Yeah. I mean, it's very reactive. Yeah. Even if you like, and every individual like knife slice will carve something into them that will never leave there. So. Oh, oh that was a mistake. No, 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 no. Careful. Uh oh. This is He's not good. He's got a buddy. He's got a buddy. This oh. is not good at all. Oh. Claire, get out of there. Oh. Ponytail oh. was a bad Grenade choice. Launcher. <laughs> They move quick. Oh, oh. No. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they haven't learned to open doors yet, thankfully. So. Oh. oh. He's like, I heard what you did over there. Uh. Okay. Nice. <laughs> get him with that acid round. Grenade launchers, you only get maybe a couple shots in this game, but uh, they are kind of an emergency weapon for obviously oh. when you run into guys like that. Got any herbs? She's she's hurting. Yeah. There we go. Ah. Much. <laughs> nice soothing sound. <laughs> oh. Just gonna take a relaxing moment. <laughs> That's right. Dangerously low on ammo. I want to point out here. Yeah. We are risking it all today, guys. That's right. Only on PlayStation Underground. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, if we're in the gun range now, <laughs> there might be some. Yeah. Ammo. Yeah. Please help me. Yeah. <laughs> True to Resident Evil form, I'm sure there's like two two rounds in the box or something. So that? yeah, still, still, I think it was for the since it's the first time for this demo specifically, it's telling you to hey check out this thing. Uh, Maybe there's something inside. I love these. I love mm. manipulating stuff in 3D. <laughs> I hope there's not a bug in there. So not quite as useful as you thought it would might be, but uh, you may need it later. I got a trick to unbend bent keys. I'll tell you. Afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be only the here on PlayStation <laughs> Underground. <laughs> What do we got over here? Some red herbs. Ah, yeah. So that's the uh, another part of RE. You might not have. Uh, I mean, I think most of you played this series are probably used to it. But item management, inventory management, uh, <laughs> definitely can't drop stuff. So you got to choose what you really want. Oh no. So you see some film rolls. You might be able to discover some photos that help you give you some clues. Some red herbs. Those help sort of power up your herbs. <laughs> but uh, he doesn't have any green films, So. Oh my God. These graphics. This core is something yeah. else. You can even shoot limbs off as she she lost her arm there. Ooh. <laughs> 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 was that a flash grenade? I think yeah. it was, yeah. 
that we found in the morgue came in handy. So that's a lot. That was one thing we I think we we took from the the first remake that we did of the first game. Uh, sort of emergency items. Yeah. Like you can get a grenade. You can use your knife. That's sort of a get off me. Just oh in my case gosh, she's that. still. <laughs> she's resilient. Raccoon City Police don't mess around. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> Only the finest. They've been through a lot. Okay. <laughs> This is awesome. I'm gonna yeah. like just marathon this when this comes out. When is this? Uh, January twenty. January twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Call off work that week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll know that you're playing hooky, Sid. We've heard the stories about <laughs> you. <laughs> we have it on tape. Sorry, I've got bronchitis and, and stomach bug and everything else. Right, row. Ah, I think we're safe in here. <laughs> Almost too quiet. Oh, back at that Scared elevator. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so the very choice use of sound design and music and things like that. Sometimes it's just pouring in, but sometimes you just don't need it. Yeah. Just left to your thoughts, and that's sometimes scariest thing ever. Absolutely. Sometimes the silence is much more unnerving. I like the leftover yeah. plate. <laughs> there. Yeah. Ooh. there you go. Maybe some uh, some upgrades to your weapons there. Excellent. Glad someone got their last meal before yeah. everything. Cheese <laughs> ravioli out. before they were eaten by a zombie. I'm always fascinated by food that's rendered in games. I always stare yeah. at it. It didn't do me much good in uh, Resident Evil 7, unfortunately. All right, so we got our elevator working now. Heading up to find that key card. Controls are uh, going to be familiar to you know Resident Evil 4 mm -hmm. fans. Yep, very familiar. Over the shoulder, over the shoulder shooter style. Uh, kind of mix with uh, some of the things that we had. Inventory system from RE7 mm -hmm. um, to sort of you know pick and choose some of the best elements that we yeah. had throughout the series. I was going to say the gameplay is really smooth. Yep. Yes, yeah, it's very polished already. There you go. Mix those herbs. Oh yeah. Nice. You know, outside of Resident Evil, I've never seen a blue plant or, well, yeah. red, I guess <laughs> poinsettias were almost at that time of year, right? It's got to be some yeah. chemically altered one. So this is actually uh, Brian's Iron's office. Ah. Was this in the original game? It was to some degree, but it, again, wasn't quite as blown out. So yeah, I, it, it seems vaguely familiar to me. If you're familiar with the story, he's definitely a fan of taxidermy, as you can see all yeah. the stuff. Yeah, I remember say. that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So there's your, there's your famous typewriter, Sid. Uh, you'll right. be able to save your game on those things. Uh, oh, and of so course, good. these notes scattered without. This is actually really cool. So uh, some somewhat uh, symbolic references. I still journal smell the wild beast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember this stuff. This is way more uh, elaborate, but I remember these references in the original. Uh, I love stuff like this. Like every every horror game, any open world game where I can just like pour through yeah. all of the little details. This is a nice touch too. Read I like zooming book. in on the, the doorknob like that. If that wolf comes to life, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I know, I'm kind of waiting for something. Uh, this is or just disturbing. Just instead of a tiger, it's a liquor. Just like <laughs> waiting. Yeah. He's already taxidermied one. Man, this is a lot of fine china. Yeah. Oh, gunpowder. So we have the ammo crafting in this? That's right. So that's another thing from RE7 where you can, you know, if you need certain things, you need weapons, you need ammo, mm -hmm. uh, you can craft to get what you need. God. Famously introduced in Resident Evil 3. God. Yeah. That was also a great game. So there's our parking key card. Unfortunately, for what we've got today, we're not going to be able to get to get it. You're going to have to go back and do a lot of puzzles and stuff to get it there. But uh, just about wraps up what we had to show today. Other than that, we've got we can kind of take a tour through the rest of Brian's office. Yeah, here. let's let's take a look at this creepy stuff. It's got a dodo. Uh, can we talk? About, I was about to say a dodo. How? It, he's a pretty pretty uh, skilled hunter. Listen, yeah. the chief of Raccoon City Police Department. That's how big dodos were. I actually can't verify that. I don't wow. know. <laughs> they're, okay. they're extinct now, Maybe aren't they? Maybe it's like so. a T-virus dodo or something. Yeah. So that's kind of showing you some of the things uh, to get to that uh, key card. You're going to need to find some stuff there. So all the notes you sc they find scattered throughout sometimes have just like gross, gory like plot details. Mm -hmm. Some of them actually have like tips on how you open saves and find certain items. So uh, 
definitely don't skimp on those, even if you're not a huge, like, getting steeped in the lore fan. There's lots of secrets you can find. Awesome. Very cool. Great. All right. Well, Mike, thank you again for showing off uh, Resident Evil 2. We're so excited. January 25th, mm -hmm. 2019. Great. That's right. Checking out on PS4 Pro here. Looking fabulous. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Great. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys next time.